Hello, how are you? It's Mrs. Ratner Raish for our weekly art mini lesson. So this week, you're going to experiment with painting with markers, preferably water-based. I don't think it's gonna work if you use a Sharpie. You can try, and if it works, that would be awesome. It didn't work for me. So try water-based markers, and it can even be old markers that are drying out, it could be highlighters, um, anything you've got that is water-based marker. And water-based basically is like the Crayolas that we use in school, or that other brand that I don't like, which you know I don't like that one, um, that one we use would work fine too. So um, you'll also need some paper. You can use um, paper that's even drawn on or written on, you just have to try to find a little empty space to do your art um, and you need a cup of water and a paintbrush and if you don't have that you can use a q-tip if you don't have that use your finger okay so this don't worry we'll make this work um, so I also wanted to mention that our big idea and you'll see that in the Google Doc I want you to take a good look at those artists that I um, have on the Google Doc they are contemporary artists and contemporary just means these artists are alive and wet and well hopefully and they're making art now and you can see them in museums that feature contemporary art we looked at art that of artists from a long time ago and i know a big question kids always ask me you always ask me are they alive are they alive no these artists are alive so the art that you're going to do is basically art that is now and it's and it, it really is making up your own rules so in in contemporary art basically artists are doing everything everything realistic um, abstract mixed media um, all kinds of art too much to say for this time in this little teeny tiny video so i'm going to turn the camera down and so I can show you some samples of what I've made before. And of course, my daughter was my, she's my main student right now. And so I always ask her to make a sample. So let's look down and we can check it out. Okay, so there you're seeing um, a piece of cardboard that is from something, probably a sketchbook. I like to keep these as a little surface and this is really good if your parents are not really into you making um, wet, sticky art in your house. If that is your parent, I get it. Uh, tell your parents that you're gonna work on a surface so all your messy, sticky, leaky art will be on this little old cardboard. And that is that. And here's my cup of water. Here are some Q-tips. Here's my paintbrush. This seems to be my favorite paintbrush because it has a little Bit of a tip. It is known as a round. All right, markers. Um, you might have recognized these markers. I've used them in the past. Um, these are Crayolas. Um, it really doesn't matter the brand. Crayola is my favorite, but really just any marker will do. And I also have some of these little guys. So, and I did cut up my lesson plan book a little because I'm running out of paper. So this one said April 2020 and I cut it in half. And I also have some sketchbook paper that I, not much, but I cut in half to make two pieces. So here are some samples. So I highly recommend that you start off simple by maybe just simply coloring a little bit, maybe making a rainbow, you know, and this is for any grade, three, four, five, six, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be a certain age to make a rainbow. Rainbows are for everybody. So. Although this is not a rainbow form, this is just rainbow colors. So it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, green, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Can you say that really fast? All right. So I wrote the words and then I basically wanted you to see the comparison. So here I didn't add any water. And then here I added some water. I basically painted water onto the marker. So you can see it really blends like watercolor. Um, you can also make, just draw some shapes, simple overlapping circles lots and lots of circles 
and when you do this, if you do this, i recommend that you use primary colors and see if you can make secondary colors um it didn't work so well um but um i do believe that it is possible so mine just kind of blended um so those are some overlapping shapes i also recommended writing your name and or, or painting your name that is so i wrote my first name Lori, and then i did lots and lots of lines so i just kind of turned my my name into a contemporary abstract artwork because I did it now. Um, so the colors did blend a bit, mostly the purple and the turquoise. You can also write words that are meaningful to you. And I have some words here that I really like. I have dream, rest, and courage. Now I did notice that my shiny cardboardy paper worked the best it actually looks like a real watercolor isn't that cool um well i think it is um, when i added water to the paint it really blended nicely it didn't drip and it's also a nice strong paper so it didn't uh, bleed through you might notice if you add too much water your paper may rip don't worry it's all just an experiment courage so these words these letters really did blend a lot so it's okay um so i thought it was a good example of adding water to marker where it really blends well and rest rest i really like this one because it blended just enough where you can still see the word but it's also kind of fading away so it's almost like reminds me of falling asleep there we go okay and some other samples some dripping you can actually just paint your rainbow and add a lot of water and then turn the paper and let the drips run. It's pretty cool and fun. You can make some abstract works, which is basically just coloring a whole bunch of shapes and lines and just adding a whole lot of water to make these abstract pieces. Um, this is my daughter's piece and I know that she really focused on line and color blending. Um, she had a good time doing that. And if you do notice there is a hole in the paper, so there was a lot of water there, but really it's okay. So I will show you how to do this. Let's see, here I have a picture of just a simple little landscape. So what you do is you dip your paintbrush in the water. You basically take your paintbrush and paint over your color and see what happens. And I notice that it is blending right away. So when you do this, what's nice is that you can create tints and, and value. Now it really blended so much that my tree got kind of lost. So later I can actually, when it dries, I can take my brown marker and draw over those lines to enhance the shapes. So basically this is it. You basically take your paint, I'm sorry, not your paint, your paint brush and water and you brush it over your lines and then what you can do is you can push the color into the space to create a light tint and a tint is basically the darkness and the lightness of a color so it kind of gives it like a watercolor effect um, what i did with my clouds i outlined it in blue because my hope is that i can take the water and the paintbrush and i can literally just spread and push that blue across the paper because I want my cloud to be white and I want the sky to be blue. So the, the marker acts like a watercolor paint when you do this. It's not going to be the same. It's not the same, guaranteed, but it is definitely something that resembles painting. So I won't sit here all day doing this, although now I'm really having fun. I might just sit here and do this for a second. And there I go. So that part looks like it's forming into a sky. It's hard to see on the camera, but it is definitely blue. So here's my sun, and you can do the same with your sun rays. Just kind of spread that yellow um, into your paper. So I'm gonna stop doing that for now, because this one is my, my drawn picture example. And here is my word example, walk. Hey, take a walk. So. Taking walks are super fun for me. Maybe they are for you. So what I'm doing is basically just what I said before, take your paintbrush, fill it with water or dip it with water 
and um, paint over the lines. Just brush your, brush your water over the lines. I keep on saying paint over. Brush your water over the marker, I should say. Boy, do I miss painting too. If you do have paints and you're thinking, uh, I think I just want to paint, then paint. Go for it. But try this. See what it's like. It's fun. It's different. It's something to experiment with. Something new to do. Something new and different. If you already know how to do this and you're like, ah, it's old news. I already know how to do this. Great. Make another piece. Show me. So there's my walk. My walk message. I'm going to take a walk today. And my last is my lesson plan paper where I have my name and I also have my colors. Maybe we'll do this. So here, I like this as my experiment piece. So maybe keep a little bit of marker intact and then take your watery, water-filled paintbrush and brush over part of your paint and see what, your marker. <laughs> and see what happens. And here I'm going to do the same thing with the orange. Now this paper is definitely does not have much integrity, but um, it's going to fall apart if I keep on painting over the same spot. But I just want to have some fun and experiment. And actually it's working pretty well. So I definitely am happy to use my lesson plan book, my old papers as paper for art. So there you have it, painting with markers. Try it, it's fun. I'll see you next week. Email me your pictures. For those of you who are just logging on to my website, do not worry about past assignments. There's never, there's, there's never any, I'm not going to penalize you for that, it is okay. Just start making art today. See you later. Bye-bye.